Thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to tackle another Ask Me Anything type question. This one came from Gail Jones. And I'm going to paraphrase very slightly here. But um, Gail has an issue with being able to get out of the house uh, for a night out or being able to go and do something without being seen by her neighbours. Essentially, the situation being she goes directly out on, on the front door to the car and being overlooked from the side. There is a possibility that she could be seen by neighbours and isn't necessarily comfortable uh, with doing it. So essentially there are upstairs and downstairs windows that are looking from all around and it leads to a situation where there's either sort of frantic late night dash to the car under cover of darkness uh, or let's say having to stay within the house. And essentially the question is, are there any possible solutions to this? Uh, I think in a question, Gail, in honesty, there may not be many solutions to this, but whether I had had any particular thoughts about this or any issues facing these kind of situations myself. So firstly to say is that where I live at the moment, I am not majorly overlooked, which is great, and certainly better than where I used to live, which was very much overlooked on a sort of cul-de-sac type street, front door straight out to the road, car parked outside, no opportunity to, you know, to sort of avoid being seen by neighbours or certainly avoid the risk of being seen by neighbours. Where I am today, it's much more different. I have one neighbour who has an adjoining property and is able to see sort of into some areas of my garden, but the risk of being seen is really quite minimal and I can quite easily find ways of doing that. Having said that, I have to drive out to a, to a country lane. My car is very well known by my neighbours, so there's always the possibility that as I drive out from where we live, I can easily you know, drive straight past someone who recognises the car and doesn't recognise the occupant. This can happen quite a lot. So I think, Gail, you kind of said it yourself, there, there really isn't much that can be done to significantly alter your, your situation. What I can say from my side is that I went for my first ever makeover about three years ago. And I went out for this makeover and I went all the way to Brighton and had a fantastic makeover, really enjoyed myself, tried on new wigs, etc. I came back, drove back dressed. I drove down dressed uh, with minimal makeup on myself and then drove back up dressed uh, with the makeup and it was fantastic really loved it it was a fantastic drive back good couple of hours in the car loved the experience really exhilarating but when i got home i parked my car in front of the house where i'm living today and my neighbor was in the garden and I didn't really know what to do, so I sort of drove up in front of the house, scooched along onto the passenger seat, tried to get out and sneak out, and as I was trying to get into the house, I saw her having a really good odd look over the wall, or round the wall, and in a sort of what's that type situation. Now I felt mortified really mortified. I knew she'd seen me. I didn't know whether she knew what she'd seen, but I was pretty gutted by that. I thought, oh God, what's going to happen? You know, what if she tells other people, etc, etc. All I can say is that was three years ago. We speak regularly. Neither of us has ever mentioned it. Uh, nothing's ever come out about it. And I don't know if she even registered it was me or not, but we've never said a single word about it since. I think that's probably what you can expect from most people. Now, don't get me wrong, you're going to have neighbours who are busy bodies who are going to gossip and they're going to go and tell everyone, oh my God, did you see what I saw the other day? But I know plenty of friends who, whose neighbours know. They are quite sort of open about these things. And it is possible to find a way to simply raising your way through it and go out and and 
Now, having had that experience myself, I will, I'll, I won't even look to check to see if her garden is unoccupied. I will just leave because it's my house, it's my life, and I'm going to do these things. And and um, if she doesn't like it, she doesn't have to look. That's kind of my my viewpoint. Yes, if she was vindictive, she could tell these people. She could reveal it. That would be awkward for, you know, a couple of days. And then I just have to front it out and deal with it, as I have with so many other things. So I don't see it as being a majorly, um, as a majorly big issue. Now for you, now for you, Gail, obviously circumstances may be very different. You don't want to, to reveal this information to neighbours, and I completely understand that. My situation may be very, very different to yours. I don't think there's much more you, you can really do. I think it's a real shame that you can't go out for example, during the summer months, because you have to wait for it to get dark, we have to wait for the early hours of the morning. I think that's a real shame. It would be much nicer to be able to get out. You can, of course, try and work out a different system. I know girls who leave their houses in mail mode with a bag, and they will get sort of, and they will put over in a lay-by, get dressed, put on their makeup, even some girls will do minimum makeup, leave the house with uh, a hoodie up. So if you were to buy like a sort of hoodie type thing, I'm pretty sure that you could get away with the following. Let's say you're wearing a skirt at the top. Get dressed as normal. Put your skirts up slightly. Pop a pair of jeans at the top. Loose jeans, pop on a zip up hoodie type thing, have your makeup on, maybe don't put your wig on, have your makeup on, get the hoodie up, one of the ones that comes quite far in front of your face, head down, straight to the car, shades on if you like, get in the car and leave that way. I've done that before, I've gone for a or oh, I've been in a situation where I've chosen to cover up slightly. Hats, quite useful. Um, but a, a good hoodie or a coat with a rain hood that you can pull far forward, get your head down so you can't really be seen at all. Certainly from those upstairs windows, no chance. And all you're really looking for is no one on the street, no one outside the house, so you can get to the car, unlock it, get in, drive a safe distance, remove the hoodie, take this jeans off, and you're away. I think that would work. I think you should be able to do something along those lines. And it'll at least give you an opportunity to get out a little bit earlier, a little bit more conveniently for yourself. So maybe try giving that a go. This risk, of course there's a risk, but you're leaving the house anyway later. You must be used to some kind of measure of risk and to, to a certain extent, be able to try to deal with that a little bit at least. Okay, so I want to thank you again for that question. It's a really, really interesting question. I, I can only come up with that one suggestion. I don't think it's going to make a massive difference to your life, but I would hope that there's something there that you can really sort of, um, yeah, that you can try to adopt and maybe it will work for you. A little bit of a disguise, you may find it works absolute wonders. Uh, look forward to answering any other questions. Well, I mean, keep sending them to me either to my email address, which you'll find in the um, description down below. So you can email me directly there. I will respond to you and let you know if I'm going to do it in the video or maybe just answer you through emails. If you prefer me to answer you through an email, then just let me know and I'll do that. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. Just to let you know one thing as well, um, I have started a Facebook page where I am posting updates about the videos that I have released online and also if I'm going to do a live stream in the future I will put the information onto that Facebook page and that might make it a bit more easy for people to find and uh, keep up to date if I'm doing a live stream or something like that in the future. So you can find me, it's called Juliet Noir Blog, it's on Facebook, you'll be able to find me there and by all means go over there, have a little look and I put a few comments, I'm just getting things up and running at the moment but I'll certainly put some comments in 
updates on what I'm doing, anything particularly interesting going on in my life, then I'll put stuff in there as well before and in between making videos, okay? So please have a look at that. Um, like me there, follow me there, and that way you'll be kept up to date with any latest uh, videos that are released by me. And you won't miss anything that's going on here on YouTube. And if I'm doing anything outside of YouTube, you won't miss that either. So thanks for watching this video. Appreciate you taking the time to do that. Any comments, any questions, anything you want to ask me, please let me know in the comments down below. Look forward to hearing from you there. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Appreciate you doing that. And as ever, bye. Bye.